Hey, welcome back. Toys Learning, what are we doing today? Well, today we are learning how to change the belt in a vacuum. <clears throat> if you have a Dyson or one of the newer ones, you don't even have a belt. So this is for if you got one of the older models. This is a Recar 8900. <clears throat> and it started smoking on Mama and uh, making a burning smell that was horrendous. And so I figured, well, it's probably the belt. So I went and got a new belt, and I'm going to show you how to change it out. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is you want to flip this bad boy on its back, or you can flip it on its front, whichever is easier. Let's let's go front. Maybe maybe we can see it a little better. All right, so you flip it on its front. I've got it still engaged, so it's locked in place. <clears throat> first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up these two screws. They're just right here with the Phillips. Twist off pretty easily. You're a drill guy, they, they probably go even faster. I don't know, I always tend to take them out with a screwdriver. All right, so you're gonna pop the front cover off. It's kind of got a little groove that holds it on, so you want to take it off and then push it down. And here's the brush. This is the brush that goes in here. And as you can see, I already have a new belt on here. This is the belt drive where it goes. So you're gonna, you're gonna pop it open and you're gonna look in here and you're probably gonna find a belt because what's making that smell is there's a pulley back here that's, that drives and <clears throat> as it drives and the belt comes off that that pulley just turns against that belt and that's what you're smelling that friction from the from the rubber once you get exposed we're going to pull this little clip here and this just kind of pops out it's just uh, kind of a spacer to hold it in place and you're going to reach here with both hands and you're going to pull out the brush it's got a little groove on this side this is under a lot, it's under quite a bit of tension. Okay, I'm gonna take that off, and then there's a little, there's a little, um, I don't know what you call it, spring, and it slides in a little hole here. I'll show you this little hole here. It just slides in there. That's when you're going from carpet to floor, it'll, it'll engage and disengage this. So we'll put that back in later. And then here is the, I'm gonna kind of get up in here. So to put the belt in, you simply just slide it. There's a gap between the, the pulley and the wall of the vacuum. So you just kind of pop it around there and you get it, you get it just like that. That's all you need to do. It's on there. And then we'll put it around the brush and pop it in. I flipped it back the way it was originally. So <clears throat> This is the front of the vacuum. This is the back of the vacuum. <clears throat> I have the belt on. The drive door is still open. All you're gonna do is take this. You wanna find that little receiver hole if you have one that the spring's gonna go in. And you're simply going to bring the belt onto the brush. This is a good time you wanna clean it out if you can. And then you're gonna put the spring in the little slot, it's not the easiest thing in the world, but you can do it if I can do it. Okay, so that's in there. Now with both hands, you're gonna put equal force. This side goes in a little slot over here. This side just kind of snaps in. So you put tension on the, put tension on the belt, because it's tight, and simply put it back in place. Push both sides down. Make sure it turns. Get, get it so it's straight in there. We're gonna close the drive door. We're gonna put our little spacer back on. And this kind of holds, with this on, this holds the, the drive in. Okay. Then this has a little groove in the front here, so you wanna make sure you lift up on it and get that little groove in there. Hold it in place. You can flip it over if it's easier. Just want to make sure that's that's snug on there. Now let's flip it on its back just to make sure. So you put this little channel. Got a couple little grooves you're going to put it over. 
snap that on. Line it up with your holes. You can kind of see them in there. Start the screw. Make sure you line up your other hole over here. Start that screw. Tighten them down. Righty to tidy or clockwise to tighten. Clockwise to loosen, so we're going righty to tidy. Tighten them up snug. All right. <clears throat> there you go. That's how you change a belt in an old vacuum with the belt. So anyway, this has been a great vacuum for like 20, 25 years. Highly recommend one. It has a little more power than the uh, battery operated Dyson ones do. Gotta have a cord, but man, it works well. So thanks for watching.